Hi, Tav. Good evening. Hi, Tav. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so how are you today? How are you today? I'm fine. You're doing great, teacher Anne. Okay, that's good to hear. So I am happy that finally we have, because yesterday we were not able to have a class, right? Teacher Anne is, is very busy yesterday. We've got a meeting and now we also have a meeting, but it just happened that I need to adjust time for you. So I'm here. So now we are going to discuss about fairy tales and folklore. We are already in grade seven. Yeah, that's reading six. Okay, we are in reading six okay, for now. So let us check our topic is about fairy tales and folklore. Yeah, it's fairy tales and folklore. But before that, we're going to discuss more on the things that we need to consider. So we have here vocabulary words. First is we have mansion. You know what is mansion tab? Yeah, easy. Yeah, it's a big house. Mm. It's a big house. Uh, it's uh, for um, rich people. Yeah, for the rich people, they have mansion. Okay, rich people, you know, rich people, they have mansion. Okay. So another one, we have crumbs. We have crumbs. Okay, so we have crumbs. You know what is crumbs? Like bread crumbs. It's a small pieces of something, small pieces of something, and it turns to be crumbs, like the bread. We have to put small bread, and it turns to be something like that. Okay, do you understand? Okay, you understand? Crumbs, tubs. Yes. How about pig pen? Pig pen. You know what is pig pen? You know what is pig pen? Pigs. Yeah. Is a. Uh, Okay, pig pen. You know what is pig pen? It is where the pig stay. You know pig, right? In an animal. Okay, pig pen. It is where the pig stay. That's pig pen. How about rubber? How about rubber? Okay, what is rubber? Okay, you know rubber, Tab? What is rubber? Uh, is the other. What is rubber? It's cowso. I don't know it's if Japan, if, if it. Uh, a term for Japanese. Kauso. Kauso. Rubber. Kauso. Okay, you understand rubber. Rubber is some kind here. I will just show you. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how rubber looks like. Okay. Okay. Rubber is just like you can stretch it. Rubber. You can stretch the rubber. I just don't have example here of the rubber. I don't know if this is rubber. I guess this is not rubber. Okay. So, rubber. Another is itchy. You know what is itchy? Oh, it's itchy. You know what is itchy? 
Yes. Yeah. Grab. You know what is grab? Yes. Grab is I will get it. I grab it. Okay. Grab is get. Another IV. Do you know what is IV? It's IV poison. Okay. IV, you know what is poison? Oh, let's not consider IV. Poison. You know what is poison, Tom? Yes. Okay. What do you mean by poison? What is it? What is poison? Uh, poison. Uh, poison. What is poison? Poison, poison is uh, we have poison. What is uh, po poison? Poison, yeah, poison is uh, it is okay. Poison it means if somebody give you a poison, you will die. It's some kind of a liquid. Or I don't know. It's some kind of um. Oh well, we don't know. It's a poison. It's something that it will give the human or to the person, and they will get die or they will be in the hospital. Poison is very dangerous. It's chat dog. I don't know how to read this one. Chat dog. <laughs> it's chat dog. Yeah. Do you have idea about poison, Tom? Yeah. Do you have idea? Tell teacher. You tell teacher, Anne. Do you have any idea about poison? Do you have idea about poison? Do you know? Do you have idea? Okay. Do you have idea about poison? Poison is something, a liquid, uh, some other sort. Of, it's a liquid that it will put into your food. Or it will put into your body. You can drink that one. You will be <laughs> hospitalized no. or you get die. Example, the one used in this one. If you can see a battle, example, this one. Okay, this one. Okay, this is fresh. Look at this one, Tom. This one. Look at this one. Okay, it's a... Uh, Germa, germ bond, it's a multi-purpose disinfectant. This is disinfectant. If you are going to drink this one, of course, you will be poisoned and you will die. Do you understand, teacher? Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Tom? You understand me, Tab?
Okay? Tab? Okay, what happened? Yes. Internet is not good? Okay, so we have here. You know already this one, poison? If you drink this one, like you will drink this one, you will get poison. Do you understand me? Do you understand, teacher? Yes. Yeah. If teacher Anne will drink this one, teacher yes. Anne will get poison and teacher Anne will die. Because teacher Anne drink this one. Do you understand, teacher? Do yes. Understand? Yeah, very good. Okay, here. So now, now Tom, I will have to tell you a story. Okay, this is about Marsha. Okay, you listen carefully. Please listen carefully. Okay, for a while, Tom. Okay, please listen carefully. This is a, the title of the story is about Marsha. Okay, listen Tom, listen to teacher, okay? Marsha lived with her stepmother, Minty, and her father, Mappy, in a large mansion. Her father had his own business and was often traveling across the country. Marsha was left home with her stepmother and her two stepbrothers, Muddy and Mushy. Listen, Tab. Every morning, the boys would yell, Marsha! at her and put dirty socks under her bed. He would leave cookie crumbs, okay, the crumbs of the cookie on the floor of her bedroom. Very bad. He would use their muddy shoes to track dirt all over the floors in the hallway. They are very bad. The rooms would look like pig pens and they would force Marsha to clean them before she went to school. Oh, One day, while the father was away, she and her friend Maria had a wonderful idea. They put on a rubber gloves, went to the woods and gathered poison ivy plants oh the plants is very poisonous it can kill you they smeared they put smeared as they put the leaves all over the bed sheets of muddy and mushy beds that evening tob the boys were up their usual main tricks they will have to do it again they will bully maria and they will let Maria clean. And Maria said, Thank you, guys. But now it's my turn. The very next morning, Tom, the boys woke up feeling very itchy. Oh, my God. Okay. Their mother suggested they stay home from school. They did not want to miss the baseball game, though. So they grabbed their backpacks and ran out of the door. Oh, they ran out of the door because the two brothers want to go to school. As the day went on, they got more and more itchy. Oh, they were sent to the nurse. Muddy and mushy had poison ivy all over their arms, legs, and bodies. The nurse sent them home for two weeks. Marcia and Maria got them good, so they never bother Marcia again. Okay. So what happened? Did you understand the story, Tom? Yes. Okay. What happened? Well, who is the girl in the story? Oh, what's the name of the girl? Marcia. Okay, it, it is? Marsha. Marsha. What? Okay. Who are the two brothers? Who are the two <laughs> brothers? The two brothers' names are? Muddy and Mushy. Okay, it's Muddy and Mushy. Are they good brothers? 
Uh, no. Okay, it's no. The, why do you think they're not bad boys? Why do you think they're not good boys? Why? They're not good boys because why, Tom? Because he put the tea shock under her. Under her? They would use their muddy shoes to track dirt all over the floors in the hallway. But they are very bad. Okay, Tom? Okay, Tab. So, did you understand the story, Tab? We have to answer the question, okay? Did you understand the story? You understand? Okay. You understand? Yes. Okay, here. Yes. Okay, first here. Now. Okay. Why was Marcia often left with her stepbrother and stepmother? Why? What's the answer? Why? What do you think is the answer? Why, Tom? What do you think is the answer? A, B, or C? A, B, or C?
Okay. So again, what was, why was Marcia open left with her stepbrother and her stepmother? Her father was away on business. Okay. Okay, her father was away in business. Very good. Next. Next. Okay. Sorry. A synonym for gathered would be what is the synonym for gathered? What's the synonym for gathered? When I say I gathered, what is that? A, B, C, or D? Uh. A, collected. B, let loose. C, met. Or D, mixed together. No. Is a uh... Okay, yeah, the answer is letter A, collected. When you see Tob gathered, I gathered the people, teacher. I gathered plants. I gathered flowers. It means collected. Very good. Next. Yay. Next one, Tom. Why did Marsha use rubber gloves? What's the answer? Why did Marcia use rubber gloves? Why? Why do you think Marcia used rubber gloves? They were good for her skin? So she and Maria would not get poison for IB? So they helped her with her homework? Or she didn't want to touch her stepbrothers? Okay, what do you think? So she and Maria would not get poison ivy. Let us see. Yeah, very good. Because you know, Tom, when they are not wearing the gloves, the rubber gloves, the rubber gloves, if they are not wearing that one, they will be poisoned and be they're having a very itchy skin because. Poison abi can make your skin very itchy. So if they will not use the gloves, they can have an itchy on their body. Do you understand, teacher Anne? You understand? Yes. Now, very good. Next one here. Okay. This fairy tale top is most like A. Cinderella. B. The three Billy Goats. C. Sleeping Beauty. Or D, Jack and the Beanstalk.
Okay, the answer is, what's the answer? It is? Cinderella. Okay, it look like it's Cinderella because in Cinderella, you can see that the Cinderella is being treated and bullied by her step sisters. What the step mom or the mother? Okay, let's see. Very good. Next one here. Okay, this is time for game. So kindly here, please choose the correct answer. Who did Marsha live with? Who? <coughs> live with who? Yes. Marsha live with her? What? Marsha live with her what? Her stepmother. Yeah, yeah, stepmother. Very good. And a uh, step two brothers. Very good. Next. Good job. Next. Did Marsha live on well with her brothers? Yes or no? Did Marsha live on well with her brothers? Yes or no? Do you think lives on well? Tab, did he lives on well with her brothers? No. No, teacher, yes. Because Marcia was being yelled by the stepbrothers. Oh, it's no. Oh, wrong. Yes, yeah, no. Next. Okay, what did Marsha's brother's room look like? What did Marsha's brother's room look like? Okay, what did Marsha's brother's room look like? Warm look like? Coop? Kick pen? What is that? No. Warm room. It's warm room? Okay, the answer is? It's pig pen. Okay. The, the, the room of the brothers looks like pig pen. Oh, do you understand pig pen? It's the pig pen. Okay, now look at here. Another one. How did the boys feel when they woke up every morning? How did the boys feel when they woke up every morning? Do you feel good? Do you feel tired? Tired, that's tired. Do you feel happy or do you feel itchy? What do you think? Because they wake up every morning and they feel what? What do you think, no. Tab? They feel what? They feel well. Uh... They feel? Uh, B. Okay, do you feel tired? No, when they woke up every morning, they feel itchy because of the IV poison. Oh, did you did you understand? So when they woke up every morning, they feel itchy because of the because of the of the IV poison. Poison. Yes, you feel itchy about that. Okay, next one here. Okay, so we have near 
we are done with this. So we are going to have some sort of study because we only have five minutes left. We are going to return to the vocabulary words. Okay. Okay. Way back to vocabulary words, Tom. Okay, let us first here. Can you give me a sentence using the word mansion? Okay, please give me a sentence using the word mansion. Okay, can you give me a word? Can you type it here, the word using mansion? Like teacher teacher will say first, okay? Teacher Anne will okay. type first. Okay, I will write here. Okay, look at here. The mansion is very big. Okay, okay, next. How about you? Can you make a sentence using the word mansion or crumbs now, la crumbs? Okay, you pick words here, crumbs. Can you make a sentence using the word crumbs? Here. Okay, write it. Okay, you speak and teacher will write. Okay, teacher Anne will write. Crumbs. No. No. Rams. The, uh, the the glass the crumbs uh, the glass the glass from The grass crumb. Ah, the grass crumb. There's a grass crumb? Are you sure or bread crumbs? Glass. glass. Ah, the glass crumbs. That one? Sorry. That one? Top? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very dangerous. Okay, you mean the crumbs, the grass, it's not the crumb. The fine glasses, the glass, the fine glasses, it's very dangerous. Okay, another one, pig pen. Okay, you pick another words here. Can you find words? Okay, poison. You make sentence using the word poison. Poison tab. Okay, Tubbs, how about poison? Okay, you make sentence using the word poison, teacher. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, where is it? <laughs> Okay, Tom. Okay. 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 What is that? Okay, the glass. Oh, where is it? Where is your question? Where is your sentence? You can write uh -huh. your I'm sentence. Quite... Yeah, you can write your sentence in the chat box. You can write it here. If you like, like that. You can write it here. Tab. Okay, you can write it in the chat box if you want. I'm right. Yeah, where is it? Yeah, I check it. Okay, poison is very dangerous and deadly. Oh, very good. So right there, look at teacher Anne. In here, okay, so I have here. When you see poison, you have who? Look at teacher. Poison is very dangerous and deadly. Okay, look at that one. There is, it starts with big letter P and ends with period. Okay, don't forget that. Whenever you make a sentence, you have to do like this tab. Okay, tab? You understand, teacher? Whenever you have to do a yeah. sentence, you have to do like this. Start with big letter and ends with period. Okay, another one. Next. Next is grab. Make a sentence using the word grab. Okay. Grab. You know the word grab, right? Yes. Okay. Make sentence using the word grab. In the chat back again. Grab. I grab the upper. I grab the letter. Yes. Yes. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Number one, let me see. Okay. Oh, I'm grabbing the book. Okay, very good. Oh, where is the period? Don't forget the period. I'm grabbing the book. Okay, period. Look at that. Okay, next. Another is the word itchy. The word itchy. Let us see how good you are. Go tab. Let me want, okay, the word itchy. Start with big letter, please. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, here. Yesterday, I felt itchy. Oh, very good. Don't forget the period. The period dubs. Yesterday, I felt itchy. Oh, sorry, teacher. Oh, wait. I'll oh, wait for a while. I felt itchy. Okay, that one. Okay. Okay. That one. Okay. Don't forget the period. This one. Next one. Pig pen. What's pig it? pen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. Your answer is correct. Next. Pig pen. Pig pen. Okay, pig pen. Okay, well, let me see. Pig pen is very smell and dirty. Okay. Pig pen is smells. Okay, you will say, look at teacher. Pig pen. Okay. Pig pen smells bad and dirty. Yeah. Okay, you can say pig Pen, pig pen, smells bad and dirty. Yeah, hey. Okay, like that, you can do like that. Pig pen smells bad and dirty. Yes, okay. So, you understand all of the words, Tom? Tom, you understand all yes. of the words? You understand? Yes. Okay. So, for now, we don't have enough time. So, I will be seeing you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow is Wednesday. I will be seeing you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. So for now, you can tell me if uh, we can have the class at 3 p.m. Or are you going back to school tomorrow or no? Not yet. Mm. When, when are you going back to school? Uh, tomorrow. Okay. Are you, able to, are you available tomorrow at 3 p.m.? Can you have the class at 3 p.m. or no? Okay. You tell mm. teacher Anne, okay? Yeah. You tell me. You tell teacher mm. Anne in Zalo. Yes. Oh, can you have the class at 3 p.m.? Yes. Okay. Or we can have the class at 5 p.m. if you want, okay? Just tell teacher. We can have the class at 5 p.m. if you really like, okay? 
Okay. But, but if you like 3 p.m., we can also have 3 p.m., okay? Okay. Okay, so for now, teacher will say goodbye. See you tomorrow, Tab. Goodbye. Yeah, see you.